So we've got a couple of pretty experienced no-tillers here. And we've got one that's kind of moving that direction. What's, you know, what's some of your recommendations to Bryce as far as, you know, making that transition? I think the cover crops would definitely speed up the cycle to get to, you know, the effects, you know, especially tractability and, you know, if you want to, if you're not having no-till very long, the more cover crops you can put in are going to get you farther down the road quicker than anything you can do for sure. And I've noticed agency-wise, you know, producer, the more interest in cereal rye and overwintering cover crops just to try to use some, utilize that excess spring moisture. Four or five years ago, guys weren't interested in that because we needed to save all the moisture we could for, you know, the next commodity crop, so. Yeah, I've noticed the same thing, just the longer, the more rain in the fall, just easier to get the cover crops going and, and they seem to do better. For me, you know, it was, we have custom harvesters and getting the residue spread evenly because I've got a drone, got a little ultralight so I can fly over fields and if you definitely notice the pattern spread on, on co combines in your corn from soybean stubble the next year or wheat stubble. So you want a uniform planting conditions. So if you're not spreading evenly, you're planting in, planting in the muck in one spot and planting in the dry area just feet away. So that makes a big difference in my opinion also. And keeping, keeping your stalks as long as possible as far as corn, you know, keep the header up and keep this, the stalks intact so they're not out there blowing around. Yeah, I, see, I think that's one issue that I see people that every, every buddy selling equipment is trying to sell everybody these chopping stalk heads and that's not what you want to do. You want to leave that stalk intact. You don't want to be cutting all those leaves because you get a big wind and it's just going to blow in huge piles. So I'd like to leave it standing for sure.